Welcome to the realm of spirits, where the lines between the living and the dead are blurred and eerie apparitions roam freely. From ancient civilizations to modern day societies, every culture has its own version of ghostly encounters. Hey there, thrill-seeking adventurers, ready for another wild ride into the world of terrifying and strange apparitions around the world? Today, we're diving deep into the mysterious tale of Ben Nia. So grab your gear or just a sturdy stick and get ready for an adventure that will send shivers down your spine and open your eyes to the unknown. Imagine a misty morning the water shimmering around you as whispers of ghostly presence fill the air. The Ben Nia is said to haunt the Scottish locks, her story steeped in tragedy and mystery. As we approach, the silence grows, each step adding to the tension. Will we hear her eerie cry, a warning of a pending doom? Now we're at the heart of Ben Nia legend watching as she washes the shrouds of those bound for the afterlife. Mesmerized by her mournful song and solemn gaze, we cannot help but wonder what secrets she holds. Will she grant us a wish or reveal glimpses into the future? Feel the mix of excitement and fear as we edge closer, eager to uncover the truth. What will happen when our brave adventurers come face to face with Ben Nia? Our curiosity overpowering any fear? With caution in our mind, we approach this mystical being, unsure of what to expect. Will she vanish into the mist, or will she welcome us into her world, sharing secrets that could change everything? Experience the mystery and the thrill of a personal encounter with Ben Nia. For centuries, Ben Nia has been ha a haunting figure in Scottish folklore. A reminder of the fragility of life. Some believe she brings only bad omens, while others think she holds the key to a brighter future. Dive into the ancient world of Ben Nia and discover the secrets she may hold. Once upon a moonlit night in Tanzania, a mischievous spirit emerged from the depths of folklore. It was none other than Papa Walba, a malevolent entity that has been the subject of many eerie tales. Papa Walba is said to originate from the mystical Pemba Island, a place where enchantment lingers in the air like the sweet scent of cloves. What sets Papa Walba apart from the run-of-the-mill ghost is its incredible shape-shifting abilities. This cheeky spirit has a knack for morphing into various forms. But it seems to have a fondness for bats. Uh, yeah, you heard that right. The Papa Walba can turn itself into a bat, swooping down on unsuspecting victims when they least expect it. Who knew such a nefarious creature had a soft spot for an eternal winged friends. Legend has it that encouraging the Papa Walba brings nothing but trouble and terror. But fear not, for the journey into this chilling encounter with the ghostly pest lies ahead. Prepare yourself for the spine-tingling tales of nighttime hauntings and unfortunate souls who have fallen victim to Papa Walba's pranks. When the sun sets and darkness blankets Tanzania landscape, that's when Papa Waba emerges from the shadows, ready to strike fear into the hearts of unsuspecting victims. This mischievous spirit has a particular fondness for tormenting those who deny its existence or simply refuse to acknowledge it. Talk about holding a grudge. Encounters with Papa Waba are nothing short of terrifying. Victims find themselves trapped in vivid nightmares, unable to escape the clutches of this malevolent entity. 
But it doesn't stop there. The Papa Wabba takes things to a whole new level by inflicting physical attacks on its victims. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night, paralyzed with fear, only to find yourself being clawed at by an invisible force. It's like a horror movie come to life. The Papa Wabba's reign of fear is not limited to a single individual. This has been known to target the community, spreading panic and chaos wherever it goes. No one is safe from its wrath, and the mere mention of his name is enough to send shivers down the spines of Tanzanians. In Tanzanian folklore, the belief in Papa Wabba runs deep, like a river of fear flowing through the hearts of locals. To protect themselves from its wrath, the people have developed some seriously creative rituals. It's like a Tanzanian version of Ghostbusters, but with a lot more dancing and chanting. One popular protective ritual involves spreading charms around the house. These charms believed to create protective barrier against Papa Wabba's evil intentions. It's like a sprinkling of fairy dust, but instead of granting wishes, it keeps the creepy bat-like spirit at bay. But wait, there's more. Another ritual involves lighting fires outside the house. Apparently, Papa Wabba has fears of flames, like a pyrophobic ghost. So the locals light up at night, turning their homes into a disco inferno, all in the name of protection. So next time you find yourself in Tanzania, don't forget to pack your dancing shoes and a lighter. You never know when you might need to bust a move or light up the night to keep the Papa Wabo at bay. After all, laughter and a little bit of fire can be the best defense against things that go bump in the night. Late at night, as the mist rolls in and temperatures plummet, the magnificent Ben McDewey transforms into a captivating theater of shadows and whispers. Suddenly, amidst the dense fog in the white canvas of snowstorms, you might feel an ominous presence. You may even catch a glimpse of a towering, particular figure, enough to send shivers down the spine of the bravest adventurer, the infamous Gray Man of McDewey. The Gray Man is a spectral figure woven into the rich tapestry of Scottish folklore. Witnesses often describe him as a colossal silhouette looming behind them, trailing their steps, and sometimes even heard but unseen. A soft footfall or a low whisper mere steps behind you. It's a matter of intrigue and the source of endless speculation if the gray man is benign, guardian, or a chilling trickster, or maybe even something else entirely. Is he guarding the mountain and testing those bold enough to wander its path? Or is he playing tricks, trying to lure climbers away from the safety of their trails? Many climbers have mentioned feeling unease and a stirring sense of dread or foreboding sensation of being watched. This enigmatic gray man lurking in the mist isn't perceived as hostile. Instead, he has an aurora of watchfulness, as if he has a deep, symbolic relationship with the mountain. Of course, any mystery invites a fair share of naysayers. Through countless of adventurers swear by their encounter with the Gray Man, skeptics argue that the apparition could be nothing more than a particular optical illusion known as Brocken Spectre. This atmospheric phenomenon occurs when the sun casts a climber's colossal shadow onto the low-lying clouds or mist, appearing like a huge, eerie figure stalking the climber. This natural event could easily unsettle anyone, especially amidst the stark isolation and vastness of Ben McDewey. In the end, the allure of Ben McDewey lies not just in the treacherous past, challenging climbs or scenic beauty, but also in the mystery of the gray man that dwells within its misty corners. This unknown, this touch of supernatural, 
only adds to the mountain's enigma that continues to draw avid mountaineers and curious myth chasers from around the globe. Who would have thought that a simple mountain climb could turn into such a thrilling psychological adventure? So if you fancy stirring a little mystique into your trek, take a journey to Ben Metui. Feel the chilling gust, the dense, eerie mist, and brace yourself. You might just meet the gray man yourself. You never know what's lurking in the shadows of Ben McDewey. Will you dare uncover the truth? Ah, the blue man of Minch. Now there's a story that will give you chills down your spine. These supernatural beings have been part of the folklore in Scottish Herbities for centuries. Legend has it that these eerie spirits reside in the treacherous waters of the Minch, a strait notorious for its shipwrecks and unpredictable currents. Imagine a dark stormy night out at sea, the winds howling and the waves crashing against the rocks. It is said that when the mist rolls in, revealing an eerie blue glow, you know the blue men are near. These mischievous entities are known to capsize ships with a flick of their webbed fingers and drag unfortunate sailors into the depths of the water, never to be seen again. But what do these blue men look like, you may wonder? Well, if you're unlucky enough to spot one, you might catch a glimpse of their mysterious blue skin and those creepy webbed fingers. Some say they have long, unkempt hair, resembling that of seaweed covered the rocks. Others claim they have a mesmerizing, piercing blue gaze that can freeze you in your tracks. It's no wonder sailors fear them. Now, you might be wondering why these supernatural beings would take pleasure in causing chaos and destruction. Well, folklore suggests that blue men are spirits of sailors who met their untimely end in the treacherous water of the Minch. Forever trapped between the mortal realm and the afterlife, they seek revenge on those who dare sail their waters. The stories of the blue men serve as cautionary tales for sailors venturing into these perilous waters. They remind us of the unforgiving nature of the sea and the need to respect its power. Many a seasoned sailor has sworn to have encountered these eerie spirits, their tales passed down through generations, serving as a reminder to always be on your guard when navigating the Minch. But are the blue men real? Well, that's a question that's open to interpretation. Some dismiss them as mere legends, concocted to keep sailors in check and prevent them from navigating recklessly. Others, however, swear by their existence, claiming to have seen them with their own eyes and experienced their terrifying presence. Whether you believe them or not, there's one thing that remains certain. The stories of the Blue Men of Minch have captured the imaginations of many. They have been woven into the fabric of maritime folklore, passed down through generations, and continue to intrigue and spook us today. So the next time you find yourself sailing through the Scottish Herbities, keep an eye out for the ominous blue glow. And remember, if you hear the whispers of the wind and see the waves crashing a little too violently, you may just have encountered the blue men of Minch. May the seas be kind to you and keep you safe from their grasp. Thank you for joining us on this whimsical exploration. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more thrilling adventures into the realm of mythical creatures and captivating tales. Until then, stay curious, my friends, and remember, never lose your sense of wonder.